One of the groups that I have found particularly challenging, and I think with your background, you'd be able to perhaps help me, are the very elderly women who have <gasps> UTI. I find that when, I mean, obviously as a urologist, I often cystoscope this group because they have a higher incidence of bladder cancer, but you often see a bladder that is just red raw, very little intact urothelium, and where do you start? I took a big gasp there because I think that the elderly are an area that really do need to be addressed. But I, I never got any purchase from my colleagues in the, in, in geriatrics. It's, it's something that's almost an undiscussable with them. And I'm hoping that, that in time we will be able to say, look, come off it, everyone. This has got to be tested properly. I, I have to say that I'm extremely anxious about long-term antibiotics in the elderly, um, and and uh, because it's it's just fraught with difficulties because they're so susceptible to side effects. The rule when we get an elderly person, and what we tend our elderly trade comes in from doctors' parents. <laughs> I do a huge trade in doctors' parents. Quite extraordinary. And some of them meddle and some of them don't. But what I say at the beginning is that, look, we're going to get this infection damped down as quickly as can. And then the aim is to have you managed on hip prex on its own. That's the target. And let me tell you, we're never going to clear this infection. We've just got to manage it. And I want to try and get you so that you're you're comfortable with with. Um, just with hip prex alone. And what I tend to what we tend to find is that there's sort of bumping about as we get the the main sepsis under control. And then eventually we get them down there and, and it's it's OK. But it's it's still an area that that's it's wide open for some decent research. And I, I'm I'm really interested in us trying to find alternatives to hip prex. I mean hip prex is very simple. It alters the chemistry um, the, the the physical chemistry of the bacterial environment and the, the kidney is par excellence and a chemical organ. So there's an enormous scope for us to manipulate the chemistry of the urine for the benefit of the patient without using antibiotics. So that's another territory. But I, I think at the moment that the scale of the problem in the elderly is, is terrifying, absolutely terrifying. Mm. And also that whole issue of the cognitive side effect of yep. chronic urinary tract infection, which well, that, yeah. I think is overwhelming. Yeah, well, I mean, that that's it's quite interesting that my experience with the elderly, which is now, I'm, I mean, I came into this vaginal geriatrics, but now that it's largely <laughs> the parents of doctors, a very select subgroup, Time and again, we see the transformation of cognitive function time and again. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, that is that is a considerable concern. 